guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. We're at CES 2013 taking a look at ZTE's high-end 1080p smartphone, the Grand King S. Let's take a look. smartphones and they're coming to the U.S. with this device at the end of 2013. And it's a really interesting device. It's extremely thin for a phone that is 1080p. It's thinner than the Droid DNA and all the other 1080p phones that we've seen so far. We've got a 16 megapixel camera on the back, kind of a soft touch plastic, and not that soft touch, kind of like a firmer soft touch. Maybe it's just plastic. Uh, and up front here we have a 5 inch 1080p screen, 1920 down by 1080 across, running on Jelly Bean. And we've got some kind of interesting UI elements that I want to show you, uh, including this lock screen, which I still can't figure out. Press and hold, tap and circle. Pinch in back. There we go. Oh, and then the little force field happens, and then you're in. So, a few cool UI elements to show you. By the way, it's powered by the S4 Pro uh, quad-core chip, just like we're seeing on all of the 1080p smartphones out there. Uh, we do see a little bit of UI lag, as you're going to see, bouncing around. We've got an interface that kind of reminds us of me UI a little bit. Uh, if we bring down the notification chain, we go to shortcuts. We've got these kind of huge toggles, which are very nice if you like the look. They're not very space-conscious. What you can do here is you can press edit. You can add some of your favorite apps. Just a little bit of UI customization here. The CTE is done. You click done, and you go back into this guy. You got some favorite apps, which is kind of cool, right? Another really cool UI element here. It's always fun to see Android manufacturers do something different. Is there's this little guy here, and if you bring that out. You get the home button, the multitask button, the menu button, and the back button sort of floating on top so you don't have to look for the buttons down here. Not exactly sure the use case scenarios that this makes sense, uh, but I imagine it just might make things a little bit easier uh, in some situations. If you want to disable it, you can. It's called Meepop. Here it is. You uncheck that and it is done. So let's watch a few games, see how they look, see how long they take to launch. Again, we did notice some UI lag here, maybe because it's early software. Uh, this isn't released yet. It's going to be in China soon, and again, as mentioned, it's going to be released in the U.S. Yeah. On what carrier, we don't know. So, here we go. Uh, a Riptide, a little bit of gaming action. Loading. Looking pretty good here on 1080p screen. Let's see how frames are. Hopefully you're not getting reflection on the screen. There are a lot of lights around us, trust me. Um, not too bad. S4 Pro always kicks ass, and... Uh, uh, looks good. So it's super thin. We think this is going to be actually a budget priced 1080p device. By the time uh, 2000, the end of 2013 comes around, 1080p's are going to be very, very common, and this is going to probably end up as a mid range or a budget US phone. That's it for now with the CTS Grand King S.